What's up guys, Bradley here from BM Tech, back again with another video, and today we're going to be checking out the Apple leather case, and is it worth $50? How does it withstand over time? I've been using it for three months now, so let's get into it. So first up, before we get into the case, I just want to speak my mind a little bit, and all the tech channels out there, they just seem like they're not that fun, they're kind of boring, and no hate to any of the tech channels. Uh, you guys like you guys do your stuff and you know that's cool but me I want to make my videos fun and entertaining and tech should be fun I think it's fun it's fun to learn about it's not just all nerdy and you know serious because you know people are sitting there like yeah I got water cooling injection and my i7 core 50,000 and my monitor has 29 million pixels per inch like let's make this crap fun guys uh, okay Google Alexa hey Siri so if you are contemplating whether you should get the Apple leather case and whether paying $50, just watch to the end of this video and you guys can uh, give your own opinion. I'll tell you my opinion. But first up, I want to talk about the quality. Now the quality of this case is very premium. Uh, past leather cases by Apple weren't all that good. Uh, yes, they were made of genuine leather and so is this one, but this one is a lot higher quality leather. And also, with this new iPhone 7 generation, they have the aluminum buttons for the volume up, down, and the lock button. And then on the inside, you have a very soft, like, suede material almost. And it says on the inside, you know, general, I mean, genuine, natural leather and iPhone and it's got the Apple logo on the back and you guys can see this is about three months of use and it is getting very very nice patina on it I would say it does look better over time and if you guys want to know the color of this one this one is the saddle brown if you guys want to check this particular colorway out like I said about three months usage and you guys can see that I have a pretty big scuff on the bottom and I think that's just for my fingernail so it's really not that durable and that's going to bring up to my point number two. So number two I want to talk about the protection and durability. Now this is a leather case and it's pretty much made just for style. It's not really made to be you know big bulky you know withstand drop. So if you're in an environment where you really need a heavy duty protective case this is not for you but if you just want a slim case that's going to make your phone look good and it's going to help against scratches and bumps and you know small drops here and there this is perfect for you um i've dropped it a couple times nothing's really happened to the leather or you know or anything i used to have an older leather case for my iphone 5s way back and every time i dropped it there would be this huge like chunk of leather that just falls off of the case it was really weird but none of that happens with this case. I think it's very good. And so the durability is, it's okay. It's not trying to be a very durable case, but what it's trying to do is be good and slim and just, you know, fit into your pocket and make you look spiffy. And that's exactly what it does. So number three is how does it handle over time? Because if you're going to be buying a $50 case, you obviously want it to last you a pretty, you know, pretty substantial amount of time. I would say if I were buying a $50 case, I would at least want it to last me a half a year. Now, I could see this case right here lasting longer than that. I could say it that it would last up to a year if you're just doing normal use. Now, if you're banging it real hard and everything like that, you shouldn't be using this case anyway. But for the average user, I could see this lasting a year or more. And the cool thing about this one is that the longer you use it, the better it's going to look. So now getting into the pros and cons, and I'll start with the cons first, and this one's pretty obvious. The only really downside I could see is maybe the durability if you know, you're know you using it heavily, or the price range. This is $45, I think, for the iPhone uh, 7, and $50 for the iPhone 7 Plus. But however, I don't think it is priced just because it's an Apple product. There's a lot of other genuine cases out there from third party manufacturers that have high quality leather just like this one and they're pretty expensive, you know, $40, $50. So it's around the same price as everyone else and with the Apple case, you're actually getting that I would like to call an Apple fit and that's basically where 
they designed this specifically for iPhone and the fit is just going to be like none other, no other case out there. It's going to be very thin, fit your phone very, very well without you barely noticing it's there and it's going to help you with the grip and everything like that. So would I recommend this case to an average user looking for a good quality case? I would. If you have the money for it, I would definitely go for it. Um, if you need a little bit extra durability. I would go with a different case and I'm going to be making a video about different cases upcoming so make sure you guys subscribe for that one. And that's going to be it for today's video guys. Make sure you drop that thumbs up for me if you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.